What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of UGUE Brothers Vlogs. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rob. I'm one of the UGUE Brothers. These are our vlogs. So, guys, I am busted tired. <laughs> Joe and I have been going so hard on content, and we had a beast workout of the last few days. And I trained legs today, and I'm wrecked. <laughs> so... I decided to do a quick and easy meal. Um, I actually forgot to cancel HelloFresh again, so I got an order in this week. So I'm gonna make an easy to put together meal. This is still really inexpensive. All these ingredients you can just easily pick up at the store. But basically, I'm making this guy right here. Parmesan crusted chicken with creamy lemon tomato spaghetti. And I know this is going to be freaking delicious. I am so freaking ready for it. And actually, there's really not that many steps. Only about six steps. Super easy, super simple. Most of this looks like it's in the oven. Which, guys, I don't have cookie sheets. So stop judging me. I am getting some. <laughs> I am getting some. But we're going to go ahead and make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We'll make a delicious meal. And it's going to be yummy, 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 scrum deliumptious for our tummies. So, let's go and get started. All right. All right, guys, so we've got the oven ready to go. It's already preheating at 450 degrees. I'm gonna use a baking dish instead of a cookie sheet. Again, don't judge me. Don't judge me, I'm getting cookie sheets. <laughs> but right now I don't have it, so I'm gonna use a baking dish instead. All you gotta do is just adjust a little bit for time. I'm going to go ahead and quarter and zest this bad boy right here and do something with this little guy right here and then I got some tomatoes to get ready um, but basically the chicken is going to take the longest so I'm going to go ahead and work on the actual outer coating of the chicken which is going to be some panko stuff and I'm ready to do it guys this recipe is so freaking simple and dang it's good man so the name of the game on this is going to be prep just like any other hello fresh meal everything is pretty much back to back ready to go it's just designed to be a super fast easy quick recipe um, i think this probably only took me about 35 minutes um, so essentially all you're going to want to do is go ahead and lay out your uh, pan get that nice and greased up and then and then just go ahead and zest your lemon and quarter your lemon um, you don't need a ton of zest, maybe like a tablespoon, nothing crazy. And just quarter your lemons. Uh, real, real simple process. And just go ahead and set that aside. Um, then we're going to go ahead and get our breading together, man. This breading is crazy good. Um, so it's, it's real simple to put together. It's basically just a uh, about a half cup of panko breadcrumbs. Go ahead and toss that into a bowl. Um, then you're going to throw your fry seasoning in. Your fry seasoning, you're going to put a half a teaspoon um, into the into your actual panko breadcrumbs. Oh, I'm sorry, half a tablespoon. Don't get that wrong. Half a tablespoon. Um, and fry seasoning is real simple. It's, it's basically just garlic and onion powder and, and uh, paprika. Real, real simple stuff. So there's nothing fancy. This is packaged, but it's you can mix your own up. It's just paprika, garlic, and onion powder. So put you a half tablespoon into your panko breadcrumbs. And then you're going to want to go ahead and put your um, your cheese in, your Parmesan cheese. In this case, it's one package because it's ca it came from uh, HelloFresh. Um, but it's it's a uh, half cup uh, of, of your Parmesan cheese. It's nothing... Uh, it's nothing crazy. You can just get your any kind of Parmesan cheese you want uh, from the store and toss that in there. No big deal. So just a half a cup in there. And then you're going to put about a drizzle. Um, I think I probably put about a tablespoon of, of olive oil into the mix and just give that a real nice stir. And what that's going to do uh, is make sure it all kind of sort of holds together. Um, and just make sure you do season it. Um, just a lot, I put a lot of pepper, a lot of salt. Just do that to taste really what you what you prefer um, I would say go easier on the salt because Parmesan cheese tends to be a saltier cheese so you don't have to worry about too too much salt but definitely throw in some good uh, pepper uh, give that a nice stir 
Uh, like I said, that olive oil is going to bring it all together, uh, make it sort of cohesive and sort of sticky. Um, once you uh, once you do that, you can go ahead and just set that aside. I'm uh, pretty sure I go ahead and show you this in just a second. I apologize for the out of focus. I don't know what happened. Uh, I guess I moved or something and it threw this out of focus. But I'm just stirring it. It's nothing, nothing, nothing special. I'm not doing anything crazy here. <laughs> um, but here we go. See how it's all nice and thick and, and, and evenly dispersed and coated. Uh, you get a nice red color from that paprika. Um, there are just kind of wipe the wipe my space down. Um, now you can go ahead and get your pot of water uh, on the um, on the stove. Go ahead and throw that on high. Get that start to boiling. Put you some salt in there. Season the water. That's going to add flavor to your pasta. It's also going to help your water actually boil faster. Um, once you do that, your oven should just be about preheated, about 450 degrees. Uh, here I'm just kind of showing you everything. I, I like to use these like glass bowls. Because um, it just keeps everything super organized. Otherwise, everything's just kind of crazy and everywhere. Um, so I would I would definitely suggest using those or some sort of dish to keep everything organized. Go ahead and throw your chicken breast in. This is 24 ounces, two 12 ounce chicken breasts, um, and pat them dry. Get all that extra excess moisture from the packaging off your chicken breasts. This is important. Um, you don't have to necessarily rinse them or wash them. Just just pat them dry. Uh, salt and pepper both sides. You know, be okay. You know, just whatever you like in terms of seasoning. I use a heavy hand with pepper because I do enjoy pepper. And again, I took it easy on the salt because, again, we're going to be using a lot of Parmesan cheese in this dish. And that's extremely salty. So if you overdo it with the salt, it's going to be gross. <laughs> um, then throw the rest of your fry seasoning. Again, that's just paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. Um, and get that nice and coated on both sides. And now we're going to actually make this special stuff. This is actually a glaze. What this is going to do uh, is actually really awesome. Now you can do an egg wash sort of thing and just dip it in the breadcrumbs. You could do that. Um, I wanted to try this. This is actually um, basically a tablespoon to two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a tablespoon to two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. What that is going to do is not only lock in that salt, pepper, and that paprika and onion and garlic into your chicken, um, but it also seals in the chicken breast and keeps it nice and juicy. It keeps it from drying out, believe it or not. It's really awesome and also provides a really awesome layer to stick your, um, your breadcrumbs on. Uh, you'll see in a moment I'm going to press those in and, and it comes out super, super crusty and awesome. I noticed like if you try to do the egg wash thing and the flour thing and all that good stuff, sometimes that skin can come off of you if you don't really just get it just right. This is pretty much foolproof. Um, and the Dijon mustard actually adds a bit of sweetness to it and a richness to it that cuts through a lot of that salt. <clears throat> adds a lot of flavor to the chicken. It's super, super good. So just give that a nice mix. Um, again, that's that's a, that's about a tablespoon and a half, a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise, a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard. Um, you can make more. Um, basically, you're using that. You coat the entire chicken. Um, so you can make more if you need it. Um, it's better to have more than not enough in this case. And if you're using more chicken breast, you're always still going like, to want to make more anyway. So you see that nice coloring from the paprika on that chicken. It looks so good, guys. And then I'm going to take my little brush and I'm just going to paint a nice coating uh, on both sides. I used all of it. Make sure it was nice and thoroughly coated. Don't worry about the other side, the bottom side. Just leave that alone. Um, essentially, it's kind of irrelevant so don't even worry about it it's just going to make it messier if you try to do it and it's just going to be a real pain so just the tops and the sides just make sure it's nice and heavily coated notice it's starting to really mix in with all that seasoning it's just going to seal that in man it's going to make it so freaking juicy <laughs> guys oh my god this dish was awesome anyway so i'm going to go ahead and take the the, the mixture of my breadcrumbs and i'm going to take the, all of that and i'm just going to toss it right over the chicken uh, just cover it thoroughly. Don't don't even be nervous about it. Use all of it. Get it all in there. Uh, make sure it's all completely coated. And then once I do that, you'll see in a second. I'm actually gonna give it a nice press. Don't don't shove it down hard. You're not trying to you're not trying to crush the chicken breast. <laughs> but, but nice and firm. Just kind of squish it down. 
Um, pack it in there. Make sure it's nice and thoroughly stuck into that Dijon mayo sort of mix in there. And uh, you see how quickly that sort of solidifies, even though it's not cooked. I mean, this thing is it's a foolproof way to get awesome, crispy, beautiful, crusty skin on a chicken breast. And you could do this with any sort of sort of um, uh, coating. It doesn't necessarily need to be Parmesan. It could be any sort of coating. You can use nuts. You can use all kinds of craziness. Just get creative with it. Um, in this case, obviously, I use the panko. Um, now, now my uh, oven is preheated. I'm going to throw my chicken in. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to set a timer for about 10 minutes because um, I'm actually going to roast some tomatoes. It's obviously not going to be done at that point, the chicken, um, but I'm going to put that back in the oven. And at this point, also, my, my pot is probably boiling at this point, um, so I go ahead and throw my pasta in. That should only take about 9, 10 minutes also, so that's your timer, basically. Um, so we got about 9, 10 minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on your pasta. Make sure it's just al dente. You definitely don't want to undercook or overcook your pasta because that just ruins everything. Since that's like the base of this dish. <laughs> just kind of keep an eye on things. Um, now, once my pasta's in, I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm going to go ahead and take my tomatoes out. This is basically just a package, a small package of these little great tomatoes. Um, they're beautiful. They're fresh. They're red. And they're little explosions of these sort of tart flavors um, but when you roast them they sort of blister up and they they sort of get super 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 sweet and there's little flavor packed explosions and I'm going to go to marinate these in this olive oil salt pepper and garlic it's oh my god it's good <laughs> it's so freaking good now I'm going to go ahead and uh, mince up my garlic here. Um, you can use crush. You can use mince. Essentially, what I did was I went ahead and took two cloves of garlic and I crushed them down. What that's going to do is essentially release all those awesome, awesome flavors. Um, I only used two cloves in this dish. For some reason, two cloves went a very, very long way. This dish was heavy garlic flavor with just that little bit. So just crush it. Give it a nice mince. And then you're going to want to toss about half that amount so probably about one clove worth. Uh, just kind of eyeball it and toss that into your tomatoes. Um, that's going to go a real long way, let me tell you. Um, once that starts to heat up and roast in the oven, that flavor is just going to be so released and strong. It's spectacular. Just about a drizzle of olive oil, nothing crazy, just just a nice little drizzle. Probably half a, half a tablespoon, nothing, nothing wild. Uh, salt, pepper. Um, again, go easy on the salt. This, this dish with that cheese is going to be very, very salt strong. So I wouldn't go crazy with the salt, but pepper, go, go crazy. <laughs> you know, definitely want to make sure it's seasoned and give it a nice stir and set that aside and get that ready to go. Um, right now, you, the pasta is probably getting real close to done. The chicken's getting real close to done. It's probably been about 10 minutes. Um, getting real, real close. So I'm keeping an eye on my pasta. Um, I'm just letting that sit aside. I'm letting that soak in all those flavors, marinate slightly. Um, now I'm taking my pasta out here. I did it like this because you need to keep um, about a half cup uh, to a cup of that water in there, starch water. You're going to use that starch water um, to actually bring together your sauce. Starch water is actually really, really awesome. So when you boil pasta, potatoes, rice, you get that nice starch water you can use that for, to make all kinds of sauces and gravies and it, you don't really have to worry about clumping like you would if you used flour or cornstarch so it's a real foolproof way to get really awesome sauces to thicken without having to worry about it getting all clumpy and gross um, now once i took my chicken out again that's about 10 minutes i'm going to go ahead and put my tomatoes in the other half of my pan and i'm going to lay them all flat so they're evenly evenly distributed across the pan and they're flat and they're all going to get heated evenly cooked go in there throw that in about another eight to nine minutes doesn't need very much longer um those tomatoes are going to get real nice and beautiful <laughs> guys typically you don't want to do this and open the oven in between like in the middle of cook time because that does release the heat but i just couldn't resist i had to look at it it was beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh um so right here um, I am actually putting in about a tablespoon uh, to two tablespoons of butter and I'm throwing in the rest of my garlic in there and I'm letting that start to cook. That's going to bring out all those wonderful, awesome flavors from the garlic. 
Um, now I'm putting I'm putting my cream cheese in cream cheese. Uh, this is two tablespoons of cream cheese. That's gonna add, of course, a, a nice creamy factor to the creamy sauce. <laughs> and then I'm throwing about a quarter cup of that starch water into my sauce. Um, and then basically I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up, get that all nice and creamy. It's gonna come together and as it starts to thicken, um, I may need to add another bit of um, butter, but I'm putting in my lemon zest here. Um, what that is do what that is doing is actually it's going to cut through the heaviness of your sauce. Uh, basically, a, a creamy cream cheese, butter, garlicky sauce is going to be very heavy, very rich, very strong, and that lemon zest is going to cut right through that. It's going to lighten it up. It's going to help it release and come alive. Um, now I'm going to put uh, a little bit of juice in there. I just used one quarter of my lemon. Squeeze that juice in there. Again, that's bringing all those flavors alive it's lightening the load here so it's not so heavy 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 rich to where you eat it and you got to take a nap <laughs> uh, go ahead and toss your pasta in lower your heat and then just give that a nice nice toss make sure all those noodles are thoroughly thoroughly coated in this sauce now this sauce is not super super thick guys it's just a, a very light very creamy sauce so don't go crazy. Don't let it get all weird and hard and thick. Um, just nice and creamy. So it'll be a few minutes uh, to, to sort of thicken up. At this point, it should be about mm, another nine minutes, eight, nine minutes. Now we're done, guys. What I did when I, when I got done is I went ahead and tossed my tomatoes in. Um, and I tossed them in. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can use that as a garnish. Put it on the side of your plate. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna put that Parmesan cheesy lemon on there. Mm. 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 God dang it. Look at that. Isn't that sexy right there? Look at that. Oh yeah. Let me just toss that. Oh, I toss those tomatoes and that garlic and that cheese and that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing, oh my god, this 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 dish is so damn delicious, guys. So at this point, I took I'm taking my time. I'm gonna let that chicken rest, letting that chicken rest a little bit, just like any sort of meat, sort of allows it the opportunity to reabsorb all those wonderful juices, um, and, and it allows that that crust to get a little bit more crispy as well. So it's gonna be just super super duper flavor packed when you take it out look how look how well that holds together look how well that holds together that's insane that looks like it's fried that is freaking awesome i am so happy with the way this turned out guys i just basically took a quick slice off of this to see uh basically how it turned out um and man oh my gosh it was that you heard that nice pop crunch of the crust and then it just cut right through like butter that chicken was so tender so juicy oh my goodness and i'll just give it a quick try you know as a chef you know you gotta, you gotta try some things sometimes you gotta, you gotta give a little taste sometimes <laughs> while you're cooking <laughs> and I had, to, I, had to take, I had to take a walk i had to take a walk it was so good it was so good i had to i had to, I had to take a couple walks around <laughs> oh my god it was so good guys oh my gosh oh my gosh it was good ah uh, uh, now I just went ahead and gave my pasta just a real quick once over, real quick sir. Make sure those tomatoes, all that garlic, all that all that wonderful creamy, garlicky, buttery sauce uh, was evenly distributed. And man, look at this dish. Look at how this turned out, guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, put it throw you a little throw you a little throw you a little quarter of that uh, lemon on there get it ready because you little splash of that lemon while you're eating it man it goes a long freaking way to open up all of those wonderful flavors in this dish guys cuts down that richness cuts down that fattiness makes this heavy dish super awesomely light 
and flavorful. Guys, oh, look at that, man. That chicken. Look at that crust. That beautiful, light, crispy crust. Juicy, juicy chicken and that pasta and the tomatoes. You get that all nice and together. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so damn good. Let me tell you, you make this dish for your family, guys. Oh, they will love you forever, man. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous, guys. Don't be jealous. This dish is so simple, so straightforward and easy to make, and it's really, really inexpensive, guys. So just try it. Do your own things with it. But, damn. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, my gosh. Just everything together. Those tomatoes are flavor-packed. They're just little explosions of just juicy, garlicky love. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and let me tell you, like like I said, you take that lemon. First of all, moment of silence for how gorgeous this dang dish looks. Just freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you put all that lemon on there. Mm, just makes this dish come alive. People, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing with the lives, guys? You're messing up if you don't try this. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you're messing up. You are messing up right now. You're messing up right now. You're messing up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is an experience and a half, let me tell you, man. It's so light, it's so creamy, it's so garlicky. Ah. Oh my god, it's so good. Wee, that was freaking delicious, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Please share the video. Um, it is going to help us to grow it. I mean, this channel has grown so much, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to make more and more goodies and yummies. And oh, Man, this just touched my heart. Man, try it. Try it, guys. You will not be disappointed. <sighs> anyway, guys, much, much love to you. I got so much more stuff coming out soon. Guys, check out the Stay Savage shirts on ugbrothers.com also if you're cooking grab one of those stay savage ap aprons go savage in the kitchen with one of those aprons i'm telling you man it's awesome <laughs> it's good luck <laughs> anyway guys much love to you peace